Hello, I'm Margaret Gillingham. I was going to have a brief conversation uh, because COVID has changed the landscape and the environment, and so I'm trying to record some of those changes and think about how they'll affect people who are studying health management. Health managers have some main functions, and two of the functions are planning and organizing. So we've had some lessons from other challenges that have occurred over the past several years since uh, maybe 2005 when there were some hurricanes, Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Rita. Hurricane Sandy was a big one impacting uh, people in the New Jersey and New York areas. In 2015, there was something that we're often comparing it to, which was the Ebola outbreak and how is Ebola different than COVID-19. And then our next big world health emergency was the Zika virus outbreak. And COVID's going to be a big change and healthcare management is thinking about change and managing the complexity of the changes. There have been a, a lot of learning, so we did have a national stockpile available for healthcare. A lot of the emergency plans hinged on this idea that the, the disaster would be local, right? So you'd have what like a, in a hurricane, for instance, you would maybe just have a hurricane going on in one part of the United States and everyone could send supplies there. Then when it was someone else's turn, right, that the supplies could go elsewhere for that emergency. And the idea would be that there would be a localized emergency. But this particular pandemic wasn't localized. And of course, you have everyone running out to buy supplies, including hospitals. How could we have done things better? I'd like to finish with some references to an article that came out about a week ago in Forbes. It was titled Strategy in Unpredictable Times, Four Lessons from the COVID-19 Crisis. There was an interesting note on plans and the idea of leaders having ready-made plans available, which was that in France, and let me read this, it was uh, hundreds of COVID-19 patients from regions overwhelmed by the pandemic were evacuated across the country in medicalized high-speed TGV trains, and that saved lives. Core graphing this high-risk operation was possible because they had a detailed plan laid out in advance. The plan wasn't the result of planning for a pandemic. The scenario was based on a terrorist attack. Later in the article, it explains the importance of having planning, but also having a lot of flexibility in the planning and having a plan B as being part of plan A. It finishes with the notion that uh, the test of a first-class strategist dealing with uncertainty and coping with change is the ability to hold more than one plan in mind at the same time and still to lead. Okay, so uh, just some quick ideas. Hope you have a good afternoon.